The weather is quickly cooling, the leaves are falling, and you know what that means. Time to be sure your home is winter ready. Here to help is contractor and home improvement expert, Anthony Carino. Hey, thanks so much for having me. Yeah, so uh, there's really two different tracks here. There's the maintenance of your existing system, and then there's if your system is nearing end of life and you're in the market for a new system. So when it comes to maintaining your existing system, there's two really simple things. First, you're gonna call your HVAC professional and you're gonna have them service that unit twice a year, spring and fall. You wanna do that in the shoulder seasons, uh, so you're, it's the most economic time, uh, most economical time for a visit. You're, you're not asking for emergency service in the dead of winter or the dead of summer. Uh, I equate this to the same as a doctor checkup. Go for your checkups. Don't wait until something catastrophic happens to you before you go to the doctor. Same principle with your HVAC system. Uh, the other thing you can do, and you can do this yourself with no tools whatsoever, change your air filter. Uh, number one, we want nice, good, solid indoor air quality. And number two, uh, it, it extends the useful life of your HVAC equipment because your system doesn't have to work as hard to do the same job it's always doing. I recommend doing this with every season, so just about every 90 days. If you do have pets or someone in your house with asthma or allergies, you wanna do that a little bit more frequently, call it 30 to 45 days, to really make sure that there's no dander in the air, that folks that do have those ailments are breathing the healthiest possible air. Now, if you are in the market for that new system, I highly recommend checking out variable speed uh, heat pumps. I installed one from Train a couple of years ago, and I'm really happy with the results. Um, so a couple of things, variable is the key word here. So old systems had two speeds on and off, which means when it's on, it's at maximum speed, it's at maximum utility usage. The train unit that I installed has 700, yes, 700 different speeds. So that means that the system ramps up utility usage and then ramps it back down once your house achieves, achieves the desired temperature. This is much lighter on your utility usage, much lighter on utility spikes, uh, and I have found it's been really kind to my utility bill. Uh, for more information on this stuff, check out train.com slash residential, and again, look for that find a local pro option. They can help you with additional questions and more information.